Yo, it's cool times. Gang, gang to my cats, sub to all my ducks. Cheap, affordable NFTs are the topic of today's video because we don't always have that Bezos, Bucks, and Musk money. We gotta flip our way up to it. Guys, if you like the content, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And then like and comment on this video and maybe you can win some cool shit. But let's get right into that video today, snipers. So something kind of cool happened this morning. I woke up to a follow from the man himself, Gary V. Shout out to Gary V, big inspiration for me. Maybe it's because he likes the Twitter takes. I actually tweeted out last night that Sheet Fighter NFT is kind of blowing me away with their promos. Uh, everything is on chain. I, I really like the whole vibe of the project. And I said that 1.2 ETH floor seemed like FUD for all the attention to detail. This morning it's already chilling at a 0.29 floor. Again, nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a gambling degen, but a lot of people in my Discord got in on this. I think one person bought like eight. It's a lot of conviction. But here's the deal, guys. With these low cap, small projects, like the like Sheet Fighter last night when it was at 0.12. This sounds like a cliche, but it can either go two different ways. It can either, you know, if you get something at 0.15, it's either gonna go down to zero and it's gonna be completely illiquid and you'll probably wanna put it in your hidden folder and forget about it completely on OpenSea, or it's gonna go up. So every project I talk about today, I think has value to go up and blow up and explode. There'll probably be a project in this video I talk about that's gonna go down to zero and become a liquid. That's the risk you take with some of these low cap projects. I think Sheet Fighter still at 0.29 is very undervalued. So you're probably wondering what the hell is Sheet Fighter? Well, this is basically the attributes of your fighter in this on-chain game. So you have this guy, he's got the blast doors, he's got the meditation station. Basically the rarity is all determined by color here up at the top. You can see this one has green, red, blue. It's worth doing the research on these and finding out which ones are rare. Basically it turned out to be a good call last night because Pranksy, one of the legendary NFT traders, I think they minted like a thousand board apes. Yeah, uh, just like an hour ago, they completely swept the floor and they were getting a bunch of the rare, like they spend 2 ETH, 1.4 ETH, um, 4.2 ETH. I mean, Pranksy went crazy on a lot of the rare uh, sheet fighters. That's why I still think at 0.29 it's undervalued. The really rare ones are the ones that have the highlight here. You can see these are like the last big sales. These are some of the Pranksy buys here. If you see one of these highlighted near the floor or above floor could be worth the bet. Still super like underrated in my opinion, doesn't even have 2,000 followers. This is a great example of why like, if you're minting a project and they have like 100,000 followers, that's, that's not even a real thing. Like you don't even need to have a bunch of followers to be a legit project. I think when I tweeted about the project last night, they had 600 followers or something like that. I honestly just love some of the promo videos, super irreverent and I love the production value. Like I'll show you guys this real quick. Welcome you overlord paper employee. This video will walk you through the sheet fighter onboarding process. so funny. Process. I mean, the production value is just so high. This is why I immediately tweeted about them. Um, yeah, 100% on chain. You can watch this video and get a better idea of how you're going to be able to fight your sheet fighter, uh, sheet fighters rather, using some of these traits in an on chain battle game. Now, you guys want the alpha before the alpha before the alpha? Okay, so the people who helped create sheet fighters also are closely aligned with another project called Two Bit Bears. Again, this is such a really low floor price. I'm not telling you to buy this now, but if we see sheet fighters go parabolic, if we see sheet fighters go up to like a one ETH floor, I think the natural matriculation of money will go down to two bit bears because it's very similar. It's the same computationally randomized attributes. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, but this is the two bit bears, all like I said, computerized, all randomized, same team. Look, you can see the activity is pretty slow on these. That's why I'm saying to wait on this. If sheet fighters continue to move, they go parabolic. Remember this project is one to look at. Okay, the next underrated project, that low cap project that could either go up or it could go down, who knows, is Dumpster Dorks. I really love the art on this one. 0.215 floor, all hand-drawn traits here, love that. It's definitely one of those projects that's very eye-catching with the art, tons of cool backgrounds, cool traits here. This, I mean, I think these work great as profile pictures. It's just some cool shit you want in your wallet. And one thing I caught earlier this morning was that Jimmy.E, who again, is a huge OG collector. I would definitely put him in the same category as Prank C, changed his profile picture 
to one of these NFTs. He created Avastars, which was like the OG, like PFP project. Yeah, this is the one he changed to his NFT profile picture. So yeah, that immediately like raised my eyes to this. And then I love the art too. So when you have like a huge influencer who's not like one of these shilly YouTube influencers who's just dumping whitelist giveaways five times a day and then tries to pat themselves on the back for it. I'm talking about like real people who push the needle in the NFT space. This guy, has a lot of sway. This channel is about the alpha before the alpha. So underrated project here again. Doesn't even have 4,000 followers. That's why you guys should not be chasing after projects that have 100,000 followers. That is all fake hype. Those are bots. Okay, the next one I wanna talk about is Acrocalypse. This hasn't revealed yet. The reveal is tomorrow at 9 p.m. PST. That's midnight EST. I'm gonna be up late trying to snipe one of these post reveal. So again, watch this price go down to maybe 0.15 or something like that. That could be a decent target price, but we're gonna wait for these to reveal. Here's a trick, guys. Never buy anything pre-reveal. It always will dump. Not just a PFP. This is basically your digital passport to their old metaverse gameplay here. This is a project I like. What do you say we talk about another project that has less than 5,000 followers and will probably blow up? This one actually hasn't minted yet, but I wanted to talk about it. I think Louis B gave me the shout out to this one in my Discord. Howlers NFT. I've seen a lot of big people start talking about this one. Again, very underrated still, but it's a big bad CCO. PFP project in progress, no whitelist, no roadmap. It's going to be a stealth launch. So you're gonna to wanna to follow this just like I did. You're gonna to wanna to turn those post notifications on because I promise you, this is gonna mint out fast. You're gonna to wanna to have the gas revved up for this one. Why do I like this project? Well, it's from Non-Fungible Noah. He said this is his love letter to Web3. Who is Non-Fungible Noah? You gotta actually do the research, boys. You put these glasses on, you think, yeah, I'm, you know, I might read some books and some shit, but no, nah, I'm just reading white papers. I'm just reading a lot of shit on Twitter. Uh, Non-Fungible Noah is the NFT guy at Christie's, one of the biggest auction houses in the world. They do millions and millions of dollars in real art sales and this is his nft project that wasn't enough people like super gremlin who did cryptodes made a one of one for this collection so the real collectors are following this one and it's got sick art too again no roadmap no promises i love that under promise over deliver that's what i pride myself on as well get in on this project follow turn the post notifications on don't follow any scam links. Only follow what is tweeted out by Howler's NFT. This could be a big one, boys. Not financial advice. Okay, again, we're talking about small cap projects that could go up. Again, some of these projects could go down to zero. I like Mimo's World. They're trying to focus on mental health as well as, you know, having cool profile pictures. They have uh, gamifying therapy through their app. Cool, solid art here. I just think the thinking man's person is, is looking at this project right now. Uh, there is some upside. Where do you get your alpha from? Well, I read the Wall Street Journal every morning. I saw this article actually. Can you imagine like, like Web 1 is basically giving me alpha on Web 3? But I read this article about NFTs and emojis in this project called Yat. They have, you know, quotes in here from like GEZ and a bunch of people. Basically, you can buy emojis here and that emoji will belong to you. It will become your personal identity you, you can use to represent your personal brand or your big brand. So the non-rares are like you can get three, like five emojis. So the non-rares are like you can get five emojis in a row. The more rare, the more expensive are the ones that are just the single or two emojis. And again, these are gonna be your personal identification tokens in the metaverse. Super cheap entry point for some of the less rares. If you go and try to find the more rares, more expensive. Long-term play for sure. This is a verified collection. 412 Ethereum, pretty good distribution size here of owners to items. Again, long-term project, super low cap for some of the less rares one. This might be something you wanna just put in your wallet for a couple of years. All right, so January 15th, I talked about Look Labs in a video. I said, it's literally an NFT DGEN's wet dream. You cultivate weed, you earn the high token, and you could buy land to grow more. Actually, the GOAT of NFTs, everyone's favorite influencer, Beanie, responded to my tweet. You know, he follows me, one of the homies. Some people probably cringed at that. Not really one of my homies, but he's tapped in with Sniper Gang. So Look Labs finally minted the other day after I gave you guys basically two, a month of heads up. So Look Labs minted out um, a couple days ago after I gave you guys like the month heads up. 0.47 floor, I still think 
that this has a lot of upside left. It's got a really built out play to earn game. The dev behind this, Green Genie Dev, is a gigabrain thinker. He's worked for a lot of big companies before. And the value seems pretty crazy. Like uh, I know Rice Farmer in my Discord, one of the homies, was able to mint a couple of these OG passes. Already at a seven ETH floor. I think that's um, pretty, pretty crazy considering you can still get one of the green passes for 0.47. This is a real strategic game, so you're going to have to think about what you're doing here. Okay, the last project that I think is a thinking man's project is the Skucks Verse Pass. It's a unique metaverse project which grants its token holder exclusive access to its custom-built metaverse while simultaneously developing metaverse portfolio with a community wallet rewarding holders via world airdrops. That's crazy to me. World is very, very valued right now when you see NFT world is going crazy. I think metaverse plays with great teams behind it are very undervalued at this price. These things can go down or they can shoot up to like one ETH. Again, not financial advice, but I think these passes are pretty underrated. It's kind of thin here, especially here. When you look at 0.16, it jumps up to 0.174. And I always say I'd rather lose my money on like a metaverse play than just a random PFP project. There's tons of upside in this project in the long term. And that's the video for today, Snipers. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. Let's get to 25K Snipers. My NFT only Snipers has a public mint this Sunday. So please be aware of that. Go grab yours, grab your sniper so that we can all pew pew together. But most importantly say gang, gang.